Honestly, I'm not a big fan of going through walls. I like to go through the doors to, uh, to get some kind of idea of where I'm actually going, you know? Why, hello, another one to reveal. Five more to go. Does this notepad any interest? No. Lots of uninteresting things in the laundry room, apparently. can just find it, then at least I'll know what happened. I've looked everywhere. Why did they do this to me? What if I never find it? If I only knew who it was, maybe I'd know where to look. What's up? You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but, but I'd feel a lot better if... If I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? You might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people. And I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. Alright. She thinks an older couple in the building murdered her. I should try to find some information from any of the older residents. A bunch of dick bags. Murdering some little druggy girl. I mean, come on. She may have done drugs, but that doesn't mean you're allowed to kill them. Well, looks like the mechanists have been here. A little gear on the floor. The warning poster. Collected artifacts can be reviewed here. As we explore Salem, return here to study our collection. While police are not pointing to a serial killer in the face of a string of deaths, they are advising people to stay home at night and to keep doors locked while home. That is a very weird, unsettling rose picture. Very strange. You'll also notice that things that we can collect have a little shiny beacon over them. Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. Every time we visit Jennifer at this place, it's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor, she changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. And my goodness, the racket. I know that upsets you, dear. And you know what else? Those guys on the third floor? You'd think they, they they were trying to raise the dead. Speaking of dead, I'm pretty sure I heard shots outside. God, I wish she'd move out of this neighborhood. Are you listening to me? I need you to listen to me. Yeah, sorry, dearie. Raise the dead. G give them shots. Yes. She is not listening. All right, so as I was saying, little beacons over things that you can collect. It uh, certainly helps to find things that are collectible. There are some things in this game that do not have beacons and make them much harder to find. But uh, right now, none of that stuff around here. I'll talk about that later. News article number one. Though the city of Salem has seen its rate of violent deaths increase sharply in the past few months, the Salem Police Department is unwilling to state officially that the deaths are connected. It's been a rough couple of months, said SPD spokesperson Ingrid Larson. But it would be irresponsible to jump to conclusions about any of these deaths, much less a connection between them. We are investigating each of these thoroughly, and making judgments based purely on the evidence. Well, I hope you haven't seen any clowns with balloons. That could indicate a problem. Let's see what these two have to say in their minds. Go 
wait for Jennifer to move out of this dump. My granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Granddaughter? Man, you don't look that old to have a uh, granddaughter already. Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out. <laughs> he did ask questions. He still didn't know you tuned him out. Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him yammer. Yes, he does. All right, let's see here. North stairwell. So that's going upstairs. Not ready to go upstairs just yet. There is this one more door here to check out. All right, what happened to the murdered girl's body? So um, this actually means that this area is where we need to find information on the murdered girl. And uh, a lot of this game will just be like, yep, murdered thing is gonna be right around here. You don't have to go anywhere else. And once you go outside of the uh, area, it's no longer on the screen. That's just how this game works. All right, we got something to reveal in the closet. Gardening tools. Shovels, gloves, fertilizer, hobby, or homicide. Sounds like one of those uh, pulp flicks on TV. Got some kind of letters here, a note. Their neighbor left town in a hurry. Maybe they had something to do with it. I see something wobbling. A newspaper. Breaking at quarry. Kids are always breaking into the quarry. Why take such an interest in this one? All right, well, we got three clues so far. I'm fairly certain three clues is all we're going to get because there's actually two people in here, and they are the rest of the clues. Now, you may notice that above this TV, there's a nice little shine as if it is an important object. Uh, right now, we can't do anything, but later on, we can actually mess with electronics, and that's why it's doing that. Hey there, buddy. What's up? Hey, uh... Shit. You trying to give me another heart attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical, for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. Wow. That sounded pretty douchey. I'm a ghost, so I like spying on people now. Well, I guess it really helps with investigations. Can't do anything with this computer, and it looks like this room is pretty much empty. Alright, let's possess the dude. We can read his mind. But like I was saying, um, usually someone important, you won't be able to read their mind. And that's just an indicator that later that, port, that uh, person might become important. Um, in this case, we can read his mind, though. You got a better view of the street on TV. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? Alright, let's see if we can influence this guy. What clue would jog his memory? Hmm. So we have something that's locked over here. Gardening tools, note from a neighbor. How about just the mysterious murder? I'm pretty sure that's probably it. Yep. That girl collapsed like paper when Grace hit her. Wow. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. Hey, it's all over. We killed someone, but who gives a damn? Apparently his wife lost a... Uh, has a bit of a temper. If she murdered that girl... Where's the body? Hey lady, let's try to influence you. Actually, before we do that, let's read your mind. Look at that poor excuse for a man. 
won't even get out of his chair. Likes that chair more than me. Maybe if I stopped bringing him snacks, he might look around the room to see if I was still here. The mind of a murderer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm pretty sure it's the mysterious murder again, which is kind of ridiculous that it's the same clue for both of these. This game has kind of an arbitrary system to uh, deciding each of these things. In some cases, it seems really logical and relevant, but in others, it's just like, eh, I don't know if that was really all that relevant. Finally, some peace and quiet. All her parties. How can anyone sleep through music blasting like that? I think she was on drugs. Walter was so tired, he could barely stay awake for the five miles it took to drive to Smithwick Quarry. I couldn't believe he was able to find a pair of lock cutters that late at night. At least the music has stopped. Now we can finally sleep. Looks like the old man had something to do with the girl's murder. But why drive all the way to Smithwick Quarry? Well, I don't know, maybe to plant a body? That seems like an easy one. <laughs> well, there you go. If you live in an apartment, don't have loud music all the time, or you might have your neighbors come and murder you. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. But they might complain to the police and uh, get some noise ordinance stuff going on. Let's find an answer to this murder. What happened to the murdered girl's body? While we can attempt to answer the primary question at any time, thorough exploration of the entire scene is often necessary to conclude an investigation. All right, what happened with the murdered girl's body? Well, there was a break-in at the uh, quarry. Come on, I need to actually know the uh, order of the events, apparently. Okay, well, fuck you. All right, let's see here. So it's uh, probably the old woman's secret. Uh-huh. Followed by the old man who drove. Followed by going to the quarry. Oh, I can't even click that anymore. Interesting. Okay. Uh, gardening tools? Either gardening tools or the mysterious murder. Hmm. No. Okay. Mysterious murder. Is that the one? Interesting. Okay. Looks like Grace couldn't take the girl's partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. These are not the clues I would choose for uh, coming to that conclusion, but you know, whatever. What the hell ever. All right, and we can uh, view this one. Girl was murdered by the couple who live in apartment 1A just because of her loud parties. They dumped her body in Smithwick Quarry. All right, let's see. Is there anything uh, else around here worth looking at? Looking like probably not, but you know, got to take a check around just in case. I'm just going to head through the wall here since we uh, need to get back to the laundry area. Once I get a little bit of a lay of the land, then uh, it kind of makes sense where we're going. And then I uh, stop using doors in some cases. Turns out reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. 
Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. To the light, lady, to the light! No, oh, she's gone. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Even if you are partying and shit like that, it shouldn't have ended up with a murder anyhow. You shouldn't blame yourself for that. Why, hello there. Well, continue collecting on the watery grave. Is with that <laughs> the light is just kind of floating in front of the light there that is a, a weird lens flare effect Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. Alright, well, I'm headed up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. So, this code stuff is uh, the stuff that's usually extremely hard to find. I, uh... <laughs> going straight through it. I have my doubts that uh, I will find all of this code stuff. Because it is uh, very, very difficult to see when it is uh, not present in the room like it is right now. You can actually collect this code stuff, I, I apparently can't collect this one, but uh, later on when there are more to reveal, you can collect those ones. Anyway, let's go into apartment 2B and uh, see what's to be in here. Hey lady. Maybe she's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Just once, I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult, without interruption. Almost well, looks like there's smoke on the wall. Is that from these? The hell is that about? I guess that's just the, uh, consecrated wall there. Nothing important. Nothing really to see here, it looks like. Someone calling for their mom in there. A non-moving lump. Can't go that way. What is with this rose everywhere? Hi. So, uh, why are you in a closet? How does a monster like you end up in a kid's closet? Her daddy pissed off the wrong people. I was the one sent to uh, expedite things. It was simple. I grabbed the girl, make a few threats, collect the money, then let her go. What went wrong? Her daddy tried to be a hero and got in my way. Looks like it worked. <laughs> 